Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the feast of the exaltation of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we are very blessed to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in front of the Jubilee Cross that contains a piece of the true cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so we are fortunate and we are very blessed to celebrate this Mass to be reminded of God's love through the wood of the cross to prepare ourselves to commemorate this feast in this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, 
O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant we pray that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert? where there is no food or water. We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Sarap serpents, which beat the people, so many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and if any who have been bitten look at it, they will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Hearken, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter miseries from of old. Do not forget the works of the Lord. While he slew them, they sought him and inquired after God again, remembering that God was their rock and the Most High God their Redeemer. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But they flattered him with their mouths and lied to him with their tongues. Though their hearts were not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful to his covenant. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But he, being merciful, forgave their sin and destroyed them not. Often he turned back his anger and let none of his wrath be roused. Do not forget the works of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him 
and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we celebrate this great feast of the exaltation of the cross, we have a beautiful reminder from the psalmist today in our responsorial psalm. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Huwag ninyong kalilimutan ang mga magagandang bagay na ginawa ng Panginoon. And that is exactly what the cross is for us. Whenever we see the cross, it reminds us of God's love. It reminds us of God's goodness. Kapag dumarating ang panahon na nakakalimutan na yata natin ng Panginoong Diyos at ang Kanyang kabutihan, tumingin lamang sa krus. At tuwing nakikita natin ng krus ni Jesus, naaalala nating muli ang Kanyang kabutihan at kagandahang loob. In the stories of our readings today, we see stories of people who forget but God gives them the instrument of remembering the instrument of the cross. In our first reading today from the book of Numbers, we see the people of Israel because they were already tired and hungry of their journey, they complained against God. They easily have forgotten what God has done for them. Dahil nagutom sila, napagod na sila sa kakalakbay, nagreklamo na sa Diyos. At parang nakalimutan nila na ang Diyos ang nagligtas sa kanila sa Ehipto. 
And so, God, through Moses, mounted the pole with the serpent. And when they looked at that pole, they were healed. The pole, the wooden pole, the wooden cross, became for them a reminder of God's goodness to them. Napakadali nilang nakalimutan ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Kaya naging instrumento ang kahoy ng krus para maalala nilang ang Diyos nga pala ay naging mabuti sa kanila. Nagligtas sa kanila, nagpakain sa kanila, nagpainom sa kanila, nangalaga sa kanila. In our gospel passage today, we also hear the teaching of Jesus to Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a Pharisee. He was one of the Pharisees who were uh, who did not believe immediately in Jesus. But Nicodemus was trying to learn from Jesus. The Pharisees were uh, doubting Jesus because he was not the Messiah that they expected. But Jesus taught Nicodemus and told him that the Son of Man, like the serpent in uh, the serpent mounted on a wooden pole in the first reading today in the Old Testament, will also be mounted like the serpent on the wood of the cross. And it will be a reminder to them that God gave His Son because of His love for the world. This teaches Nicodemus to remember that the Son was sent by the Father because of love. And in our second reading today, from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, this is also a reminder to all of us that whenever we see Jesus on the cross, dying with wounds and with blood flowing from His body, we might forget that Jesus was not only man, but He was also God. Kapag tumitingin tayo sa krus ni Jesus, sabi ni San Pablo, hindi lamang natin nakikita ang pagkataon ni Jesus, kundi nakikita natin ang kanyang pagkadiyos. Handa niyang talikuran lahat ng sagayon tayo ay mailigtas niya. Ang krus ay magpapaalala sa atin na iniwan ni Jesus ang kanyang pagkadiyos. Yan ang kanyang kabutihan para iligtas tayo sa kahoy ng krus. The cross reminds us of God's goodness that Jesus was able to redeem us by forgetting and leaving His divinity so that He could become man. And through His humanity, he was able to experience death on the cross to save us. My dear brothers and sisters, this pandemic will make us try to forget the goodness of God. Ang pandemic na ito ay madalas, minsan nasasabi natin na parang nakakalimutan natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Whenever you feel that you are sick, you will have fear in your heart. Kapag naghihintay ka ng resulta ng iyong uh, uh, swab test, naku yan, nandyan na ang takot. Parang nakakalimutan mo na na may Diyos na nagbabantay sa iyo. Nakakalimutan na natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos na ginawa sa ating buhay. Whenever we experience death in this time of pandemic, sometimes we forget that there is a God, a God who is good, 
a God who loves us. My dear brothers and sisters, whenever this pandemic would make you forget God's goodness, look to the cross. Hold on to the cross because Jesus on the cross, He has poured out all His life, His blood, His spirit, His saving love was on that cross. And whenever we hold on to that cross, we hold on to the power and life attached to it by Jesus. Ang pandemic na ito ay susubukin talaga na kalimutan natin na may Diyos tayong mabuti at mapagmahal. Kapag nararamdaman mo ito, napapansin mong nakakalimutan mo na ang Diyos. At dahil sa takot natin, nakakalimutan natin na may Diyos tayo, tumingin sa krus, hawakan ng krus, sapagkat ibinuhos ni Jesus lahat sa krus ang kanyang dugo, ang kanyang buhay, ang kanyang luha, ang kanyang espiritu, nandyan nakakabit sa krus. Upang tuwing hahawakan natin at titingnan natin ang krus ni Jesus, maaalala natin, mayroon nga pala tayong Diyos na mabuti at nag-alay ng buhay sa atin. The psalmist tells us today, do not forget the works of the Lord. Amen. Let us now pray to God the Father who loved the world so much that He gave His only Son to die for us upon the cross. For every petition, let us say, through the power of the cross, hear us, O Lord. Through the power of the cross, hear us, O Lord. That the church on earth may fight on to victory beneath the standard of the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the power, power of, of the, the cross, cross hear, hear us, O Lord. Lord. That people of every nation and culture may find freedom and peace through the one whom God raised on high. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the power, power of, of the, the cross, cross, hear us, O Lord. Lord. That those who stand in need of God's mercy and forgiveness may find hope in the cross of Christ as a way to peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the power, power of, of the, the cross, cross, hear us, O Lord. Lord. That the sick may see in the cross of Jesus the hope of complete healing and recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the power, power of, of the, the cross, cross hear, hear us, O Lord. Lord. That those who sleep in Christ may be cleansed of their sins through the blood of Christ's sacrifice. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, through the, the power, power of, of the, the cross, cross hear, hear us, O Lord. Lord. Loving Father, in this life and the next, our hope is in the cross. Grant our petitions as we praise you for your mercies. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May this oblation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross canceled the offense of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you placed the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross, so that where death arose, life might again spring forth, and the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be conquered through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We enter now into the mystery of the cross on Calvary. And as we face our Lord Jesus Christ in the sacrament of His body and blood, let us bring to the altar of the cross of Jesus all our needs, our petitions, especially our petition for healing and strength at this moment. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.